Next, we recognize the Outstanding Community College Professor of the Year. And the winner is Lois Roma Dealey, Professor of Creative Writing at Paradise Valley Community College in Phoenix, Arizona. Introducing Professor Roma Dealey is her former student, Carolyn L. Zatkowski. Carolyn, would you please come forward? Thank you. Thank you very much. When preparing to write this introduction for Dr. Lois Romadili, I decided to let her own words speak for me as they respect, represent the essence of her teaching philosophies. I will begin by quoting from Dr. Romadili's blog, Chow Poetry. I define nobility as the practical application of striving towards something better a better life, a better culture, a better self, a better sense of what it means to be human. The idea that, yes, things are not good, not ideal, not as that should be, but given all that, we must try. We must endure and then endeavor to march toward our better natures. Dr. Lois Romadili is a working writer, published poet, educator, editor, scholar leader, poet in residence, and mentor to many, colleagues as well as students. In addition to teaching us creative writing in varied genres, she shows us the way to use our writing to explore history, culture, science, other art forms, and most importantly, our own lives. The following are comments from, for, excuse me, for many students, community college provides a strong liberal arts foundation from which to define and pursue their academic goals. For others, like me, the community college provides lifelong learning in a supportive academic setting. I have been taking creative writing classes from Dr. Roma Dealey for the past eight years. Her guidance and encouragement have sent me on a writing journey in which poetry has become my chosen genre. The following are comments from former students and a colleague. Dr. Roma Dealey's belief in my capacity to succeed is the main factor that pushed me to finish my undergraduate coursework and seek advanced degrees. Former student. Over time, I came to understand that Dr. Roma Dealey wanted us to examine who we were and what we wanted to become, to move from coping to creating, former student. Dr. Roma Dealey's scholarship is impeccable, and her approach to presenting material to students reaches widely across seas of knowledge with an approach to presenting that emphasizes understanding of the humanities and of how various disciplines interrelate. Visual artist colleague. It is with great honor I now invite you to join me in welcoming the 2012 U.S. Community College Professor of the Year, Dr. Lois Roma Dealey. My thanks to the Carnegie Foundation for the advancement of teaching, CASE, and to all who have made this day possible. I am deeply honored and a little nervous <laughs> to uh, receive this award. Thank you so much. Some say we live in a cynical age where the idea of noble lives of striving, failing, and then trying again 
are antiquated notions, from a, relics from another age. But I know better. My students have taught me well. Our campus is an educational institution for all seasons. At my college, the notion that a liberal arts education as a transformative experience is put into practice every day. Where Shakespeare has, as, has meaning and purpose as much in the life of a nursing student as it does for the retired accountant. Where the study and practice of poetry can reshape the lives of future firefighters and former business owners. Where the love of learning is in itself a value because it leads us to the very center of our own humanness. Every day, I am witness to the countless efforts of students who refuse to give up. I see in very concrete ways those who believe, even if they don't yet fully understand, the power of the educational experience to transform their lives. My students know their liberal arts education will ultimately ask them to answer one simple question. And that question is not, what will you do with your life? But rather, how will you live your life? The community college in America is one of our nation's best known institutions and best kept secrets. While it's true that some of my community college students come to our campus for workforce training, many also come for a quality liberal arts education. In my creative writing classrooms, my students, the future dietitians, computer programmers, musicians, teachers, lab techs, pharmacists, and the like, sit alongside of retired doctors, lawyers, and accountants. It would not be unusual to see how the 42-year-old roofer, the 25-year-old Serbian immigrant, and the 16-year-old homeschooled Eagle Scout find they have more in common than anyone would ever suspect. Or how the former gang member and the current real estate agent form barns which are as deep as they are extraordinary. My students know that a community college classroom is the place where the privilege of a quality education is not the exclusive purview of the privileged few. We learn from each other. And if I am a good teacher, it is because I had good teachers. For example, my older brother, Nick Ferrone, was the first in our family to finish high school and then college. He later taught high school for 33 years. But as a first year college student, he would sit me down at our kitchen table and teach philosophy, poetry, politics to me, a 12-year-old girl. And what he taught me was this. Nothing worth having is easy. That the riches of an intellectual life are mine for the taking. And that with patience, and fortitude, nothing is beyond my capacity 
to learn. The community college is one of our most democratic institutions. You can come to us for first, second, third chances. And yes, we offer workforce development, but we also offer our students a chance to become part of a vibrant liberal arts community with dedicated teachers who are also working artists and highly regarded professionals in their chosen disciplines. All we ask is that the students come to us and work hard and dream big. Thank you. Well, Lois Romadili, on behalf of Case and the Carnegie Foundation for the Advancement of Teaching, it is a great honor to recognize you as the 2012 Outstanding Community College Professor of the Year. Again, our congratulations. <laughs>